Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a he, she reading for the weekend of the 20th and the 21st of June 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody out there might find them entertaining. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. And around here, we do like to radiate with that true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types, because we have nothing to fear, because we are calm and we are cheerful. So yes, this is a he, she reading for the weekend of the 20th and the 21st of June, 2020. Now I haven't been making very many videos because I've been on other projects, okay? And um, just because uh, there's not too many subscribers and not too much of a um, demand for my readings, I decided to put things to the side, but I do get little messages uh, that I need to do a reading, okay? And so I'll put it out there, okay? Um, I don't know, perhaps if the the demands for the readings go up, then I will we'll put out more videos. But at this present time, I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle them out to you because I am working on other projects, and I will probably be working on those projects until November about and then maybe um, it'll pick up for you guys to get more readings, okay? All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and start with his side. This is his side, and this is her side, okay? So, um, you know, the energies are interchangeable, right? And let's just find out what's going on with these two in separation, okay? Um, these cards are pre-shuffled. I'm going to go ahead and do another shuffle here just so I can get the general energy of the reading, okay, for his side, general energy for him for the weekend of the 20th and the 21st of June 2020 is, <clears throat> let's see, okay, his energy is, ooh, the tower. So it seems like he's not going through uh, very much happy times, right? Uh, there's not too much happiness going on here, okay? Let me just move these cards to the side here real quick, okay? All right. Let's find out what's going on with him, all right? We got that tower right there. And you know, the tower uh, is male energy. It's a Mars planet, right? So he is definitely going through something. Let's find out why is this tower card here? What is going on with him, right? What is going on with him? Let me get three cards for him for the Kishi reason. Okay, wow, those two just kind of flopped out. And then here's another one, okay. So let me put this to the side and let's find out what is going on, you guys. Wow. All right. So he's had a tower moment, right? He's going through the tower, not very happy at this present time, right? There's been some sort of sudden change, some chaos, some sort of revelation or an awakening. Mm hmm Yeah. He's trying to choose which way to go because he definitely wants to get on the chariot and hightail it out of there, right? Could be dealing with a cancer now, right? But with the chariot, this is about control, willpower, success, and the ability to move forward. And it seems like he's trying to decide to move forward in a certain situation, right? Oh, and the reason being is because of this Ten of Swords. Somebody has caused deception to him, right? And that's never a good feeling. This person is, you know, waking up to something, to an announcement, right? 
This is waking up to some deceptions, right? So somebody here may have been deceived and this has actually woken them up. And that's what brought in this tower moment. The next card we have here is the hanged man, okay? And it appears here that with this hanged man, <clears throat> he wants to move forward after this deception, right? But he can't seem to move. He's stuck, okay? Now, this is already three major arcanas, and they all surround this deception, okay? And he's not, he's definitely not feeling good about this deception, right? Obviously not, right? But with the hangman, he needs to pause for a minute, right? He's surrendering himself. He's letting go and he's gaining perspective on his life and what's been going on here, right? What has been going on? You know, let's, let's go ahead and clarify these cards, all right? Um, in case you didn't know, um, I, I do have a little picture on, um, I decided to put little pictures of the, the decks and the oracles I'm using uh, for the readings. And um, so those are on the outside. If you're interested in any of these cards, click the drop down, find out my email. You can email me, you can ask me, you can even make a comment and I'll let you know, okay? All right. These uh, cards that I'm using now happen to be uh, the Everyday Witch Tarot for his side, okay? And I'm going to clarify with the Bicycle uh, Frosted cards uh, signifying water, okay? <clears throat> because I don't know why I chose water for his side, but I did. It's about emotions, right? We all know water is an emotional element, right? <clears throat> All right, I just had to move over a little bit. Okay, so let's find out why is, why, oh, cards are not in the right position. Okay, why is this chariot card for him uh, on his side? Why is, why does he have this chariot card uh, here? And this is for the 20th and the 21st of um, June 2020, the weekend, right? Um, let me get uh, let me get a few cards. Okay, here's one. So he's moving towards something that he wants to fight for. All right, he's got one fight left. He's he wants to state his case, right? He wants to say, hey, let me talk to you. I want to tell you what happened, right? He wants to bring clarity to a situation, right? Simplicity. He wants a new life, right? This card can also represent the sun. So he could be dealing with a Leo. All right. Let's find out what's next here. What is next for that chariot card? What else do you have for us? Okay. All right. Well, we do have, this is the 10 of cups in reverse. All right. Let me make it so you guys can see. Sorry. So we got the 10 of cups in the reverse here now. All right. This is somebody who wanted to have the happy family, happy home, happy life, but it's in the reverse now because of something that has happened, all right? Now, we do know that the Ten of Cups, this is also in this deck, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is uh, supposed to be plans being set in motion, but because it's in the reverse, those plans are not being followed through, right? The Wheel of Fortune is not making any movements forward. Okay, it's stuck. It's stagnant, possibly because somebody is trying to find clarity. Okay, he's trying to find that clarity. Let me see if I can get another card for his side. Okay. We got the Four of Swords here. This is also the death card. So the reason why he wants to find clarity, he wants to fight for this, he wants to figure out what went wrong is because whatever plans he had to have this happy family, happy home, happy whatnot, somebody is tired of it. 
okay? It's not happening, the happy family happy home. Somebody is actually tired of this situation, wanting to just give up and put an end to it, okay? Because, you know, when it comes to him, you know, he might have been in a relationship that he did try to fight for, but instead he found clarity. He's not happy in that relationship anymore, and he wants to detach himself from it, okay? And this is why we have this Four of Swords, which also doubles as the Death card, okay, in the normal playing card deck, okay? <clears throat> now, why is this Ten of Swords here? Why is this Ten of Swords here for his side, please? Why is this Ten of Swords here for his side? Wow, this is a lot. I'm not going to take all those. Um, let's just, uh, well, let me tell you what. He has been deceived. He has been cheated on. Right? The person that he was involved in has been um, uh, disloyal to them, has caused heartbreak. Right? Because we all know this is about heartbreak. You know, but this is also about understanding one's feelings and moving beyond sorrow. So somebody in this relationship on his side, he is getting out of a relationship involving that Ten of Cups. It's no longer good. He wants to put an end to that situation because there was a three party or somebody in this relationship, right? It could actually be a cancer who has caused a deception to this person, right? Also, we have this Three of Swords, Three Parties, so that cancer may have done that. Doesn't have to be a cancer, but could have cancer somewhere in their chart. Now, when I do my readings, I try to focus on Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. If you don't know what those are, you can go up to cafeastrology.com and plug in your information and find out your stuff, right? Yeah. All right. So this person doesn't want to wait anymore. He doesn't want to wait it around anymore because he knows that there's heartbreak here. There's deception. He doesn't want to stay in that situation. He's tired of it, right? Yeah, see, he's ready to go find stability somewhere because he has found that there's just no stability here. He thought, oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to be happy. And then, boom, tower moment comes in, backstabbing comes in, cheating, possibly lying, right? But there is heartbreak. And this person doesn't want to wait around anymore to have a stability with this person. They want to move away from this, this backstabbing energy. And they want to find stability in their life, right? Everybody wants stability, right? This is a choice of security, you know? Um, risking things and enjoy, enjoyment of wealth. But this person is having a hard time doing that because there's just a lot of deception and heartbreak here. Why is the hanged man here? Why is the hanged man here? Okay. Well, the hanged man is here because this person wants to start something new somewhere, right? They want to start something brand new, fresh, you know, good times. This card also represents the world, right? This is about peace, open-mindedness, right? Somebody wants to start in that energy, that energy of having some stability. Let's have a new start when it comes to the stability between us, right? So let's find out what else we have here. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. So definitely wanting to move towards a passionate new start. All right, what else is next? And the passionate, there he is possibly, the King of Cups. This is who wants to do that, somebody who is a water sign. And how funny that I'm using the cards that indicate, you know, water. Okay, the frosted card, the ice melts into water. 
So I'm also feeling, because I just mentioned that to you, so somebody might have been real icy, real cold, really, you know, like that. But I think they're starting to warm up and that ice is starting to melt, this Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. He's also looking at the past. You know, he's looking at the past. He's looking about relationships that have ended. He's looking about the past and where he could have had stability. Doesn't necessarily mean with this individual that he's separating from right now, but possibly other relationships down the line. <clears throat> right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this to the side. And we are going to see what's going on with her. Okay? All right. Whoops. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let me just make it a little... I had to move the chair because the, the setup is so big. And I really want y'all to see all the cards. Okay? That's what I want for you guys. I'm using, like, a really big stick to... <laughs> <laughs> to hold up the camera, but, you know. All right. Unless y'all want to look at me, but I doubt it. I'd rather see some cards, wouldn't you guys? Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Let's keep moving on. These are the Deviant Tarot. This is the Deviant Tarot we're using for her side. And we're also using the bicycle fire element card, okay? So we got water and fire here. All right. <clears throat> now, these don't have to mean anything, right? It doesn't have to mean, oh, I'm not a fire sign or I'm not, it doesn't matter, all right? I just happen to have those and those are the ones I'm using, okay? I don't like how this is, so I'm gonna fix it a little bit, okay? That's okay with you guys. Okay. All right. Can we do this? Can we do this? Me and my OCD, you guys swear. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. There we are. Much better. Oh. Kind of. Kind of not, right? Yes, I'm next to the wall. You know, if I don't do it now, you guys are going to drive me crazy for the whole reading. So let me just do this, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. It's just going to have to do, right? Because you know what? I know you're, you guys are like, well, let's get started already. I know, I know. All right, that's good enough, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to mess with that too long, but can you guys see everything okay? I think you can, all right? So let's continue here, and let's find out what is going on with her. All right, let's find out what's going on with her for the key. Oh, general energy, right? I almost did that. These cards, of course, are a pre-shuffle. We're going to get the general energy for her side, okay? I'm going to have to find a way to secure that better, but, you know, we're going to work with what we have now, okay? <clears throat> All right, so the general energy for her is... the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Now, the Queen of Pentacles is usually like a married lady, but it doesn't have to be, right? Um, but that's usually what the Queen of Pentacles is. It's a single, uh, not a single, it's a married woman. And you see there's a bunch of kids running around her, right? She could have children. This could be the mother of his, his children, you know? I mean, them, they are linked somehow because this is a he and she reading, right? So let's find out what is going on with her. Whoa, what's this? Oh, okay, so she's dealing with the emperor. Now, is he the emperor? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. 
But we do know that there is an emperor here. And, you know, she could actually be resonating or radiating or energized in this emperor energy, right? <clears throat> she could be, or she could be dealing with somebody who is an emperor, right? What else do we have for her side? Let me get two more cards, please. Okay. This is the Seven of Swords. Okay. So she was uh, deceived or somebody got away with something in regards to her. This emperor did, right? This emperor has possibly, you know, deceived her, right? Now this card is also the chariot card. It's about triumph and finding a so, uh, an inventive solution to fix one's issues, right? Somebody here was deceptive and it was this emperor <clears throat> and it was possibly the person that she was intertwined with or involved with. And this is what, you know, what's going on. Let me get one more card. One more card for her side, please. One more card. two cards out. I'm going to take the one that flipped and it's closer to the map, which is this one. And that is the two of pentacles. Yes. So definitely what's going on here is she's not going to deal with this emperor because this emperor has deceived her by juggling her with other people. All right. Um, it appears to that she's doing a lot of crying in this situation as indicated by the candle that's dripping over. Okay, when the candle drips like that, somebody is crying, somebody is sad, okay? And it's definitely pointing to her. So she's very disappointed in this situation, very sad about this situation, that this emperor who she thought she might have had a good future with, a stable future with, has deceived her because he prefers to juggle, prefers to be involved with other women, juggling around, being a philanderer, wanting to be that player, not really wanting to put work into any kind of situation except for his own, only thinking about himself, and, and that's a very selfish thing. Okay. Wow. And you know, we didn't check the bottom of the deck here. Page of Pentacles. So he's possibly trying to build his finances, you know, do something like that. He's trying to fix himself so he's more stable within himself. And this is possibly why we have a hanged man here. On her side, we have Justice. So from this situation of, you know, deception and juggling, um, there's going to be some justice to be had here, okay, in regards to her. She could have air in her chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person is going to have justice nonetheless, okay, because she's not been a bad person. Right? It appears that somebody has hurt her. So they might be mirroring pain. He, uh, somebody hurt her and somebody hurt him. And usually in a soulmate dynamic relationship, a lot of the times the two people involved mirror each other. Okay. So let's go ahead and find out what is going on uh, with this emperor here. Let's go ahead and clarify this emperor card and find out why is this emperor card here for her side. Okay, the reason being is because the emperor deceived her. So like I said, mirroring energies. He was deceived, she was deceived, but she is actually pulled away from the deception, though. See, this card is in the reverse. 
All right, she has pulled away from that deception. She doesn't want to deal with that anymore. She's waking up, right? She's making this announcement that she does not want to deal with any of this anymore. This card, also the judgment in reverse. So maybe the emperor here made a bad judgment call in regards to her. So whoever she was dealing with who put her through all this turmoil and sadness and pain, she wants to let that go because she doesn't want to deal with the juggling. She doesn't want to deal with any deception anymore. She's woken. She's, she's waking up from this. She's understanding that this person is deceptive and she doesn't want to deal with his deception anymore. Let me get two more cards for that. Here we go. Yeah. She, I think, you know, in regards to this, she doesn't want deception. She wants to work on things possibly with the emperor. The emperor wants to do that. I'm getting another story. Second story, this emperor has been deceived and he doesn't want deception anymore and he wants to work it out with her. So depending on who that emperor is, right? <clears throat> emperor can also be a uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. Can also be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got uh, Taurus and, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm seeing here. Let me see if I can get one more card here. One more card for that Emperor card for her side. Wow. A lot of cards that fell out. They all fell out in the reverse. Okay, I'm going to put them back and we're going to find out what's going to come out next. Okay, because that's like six cards and I'm not taking them. Okay. Um, why is the Emperor card here? Let me just get one card, please, Spirit. One card only. One card for that Emperor. Yeah. He wants to work something out. He doesn't want deception anymore. He's left possibly this relationship or she's leaving this relationship. The Four of Wands is about, you know, a solid foundation. It's about stability and celebration. But here there is none. Okay? He is he is working on something after this deception, but it doesn't appear that he's working on any sort of stability or foundation in regards to her, right? Of course, if, there, if this is referring to him, they're in separation, he's going through his own thing. And if she's wondering about him, this is what's happening, you know, in regards to him and her, right? He doesn't want to deceive her. He wants to work on things, but he knows that this union is a problem because of past deception, right? Why is this Seven of Swords here, please? Why is this Seven of Swords here, please, now? Seven of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Somebody tried to come and work something out. Somebody tried to actually come and bring some sort of clarity in, right? Um, they wanted to move beyond whatever sorrow they had in their life, and they are starting to understand their own feelings, right? Um, this is about, you know, working things out, having some collaboration, admiration. So after this deception and this seven of swords energy, right? About this seven of swords is also the chariot. She also wants to move forward. She wants to have triumph. She's working on new projects, possibly working on herself now, right? What else do we have uh, here for the Seven of Swords here? So I'm feeling that she might have given up on this because of the deceptions. She doesn't want to deal with this. This person may have been after her for her money, not really showing any love to her, making her do the most while he does nothing, and that sucks. Four of Cups. She even possibly made an offer to him, and he refused it. 
and that was deception in itself. She wanted equal give and take with this person, and I don't think that's what she got at all. Mm -hmm. Why is this two of pentacles here? Why is this two of pentacles here? Nine of swords. This two of pentacles had her very upset. When he, you know, brought to her attention about the juggling and being with this person and that person and not wanting to settle down, that actually caused her to have sleepless nights, turmoil in her mind, very upset, very, very upset, crying, right? Crying. This person made her feel left out in the cold because of that juggling. She may have been very loyal to him. And what happened? Juggling, right? Yeah. She decided to move away from the juggling. She didn't want to deal with it anymore. And maybe in the past she was crying over this, but she's not anymore. She's not anymore. She's decided to start new things for herself. Maybe now she's going to go ahead and work on herself. Maybe she's going to start juggling. Juggling ideas, new starts, new people, just having a new life, right? <clears throat> because she doesn't want to cry over this anymore. She's learning from her mistakes and moving forward, right? Um, or maybe not. I think she actually might still be thinking about him. Of course, because she's crying, right? I'm still crying. So she's basically in turmoil right here and sadness over the loss of this emperor. Somebody that she wanted to have stability and happiness and love and a family and all the good stuff with him. But he was juggling. He was deceptive. And he was selfish. And I guess who that was. King of Cups. At the bottom of the deck. King of Cups, there he is. What was at the bottom of this one? Huh. Apparently he wants to move forward somewhere. Well, we're going to get these up, I'll tell you what. And we're going to find out what are the next three cards for his side of the reading, for the he-she reading, okay? We're going to find out um, what exactly is he doing? What is he doing now? Because, I mean, he's left her feeling like, like crap, basically. Forced her to move on and deal with herself, try to find happiness herself. But it's tough, especially when somebody has deceived this person. She may have tried to change her whole life for him. And what happened? Deception, sadness, heartbreak. Because of his juggling. Poor thing. Anyways, what are the next three cards for his side of the he she reading? What are the next three cards? This is for the 20th and the 21st of the weekend of June 2020, right? Well, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the lover's card, okay? Now, the lovers. Who is the lovers here, okay? Justice. Wow. Justice. I told you when you're in a kind of relationship like this, it ends up being like a mirroring action. You know what I'm saying? They're mirror each other, especially twin flame soulmate dynamic. A lot of mirroring going on. And when that's happening, it's because this is a union that is supposed to be. But it feels like two people are fighting. She's refusing to accept, you know, this relationship because there's too much juggling and deception here from this emperor. And he is being going through the same thing, but on his side, on his karma. So perhaps this was her karma to meet this person and to go through all this and stand in her power and say, I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be strong. And I'm going to let this go. 
no matter how painful it is, no matter how many tears I shed, I'm going to let it go. On his side, he's starting to go through this turmoil and deception that she is trying to heal herself from. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there was no equal give and take in his situation. Somebody was taking, 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 or he was just giving out to more than one person, giving out to a lot of people. He might have even been the one who was the deceiver here. He might have been that had the tower brought down on him because he was the one who was the deceiver. He might have been the one who was the cheater. He might have gone this way and that way and, and trying to find love all over the place. Or the person he's dealing with did that. You can reverse those, swap those, right? Which has caused him to be in that hangman mode. Look at that. Now he's feeling trapped in a marriage. So yeah, he's in a situation in a marriage that there's no equal give and take. There's no balance. There's no equality or justice here. Now, he could be thinking that he wants to uh, move away from a cancer or he wants to move towards a Libra. But he's not sure. He's not sure which one to give to because there's been deception towards both. Now, if he's the one doing all the deceiving, then basically he's trying to make a choice on which one to go to because he deceived them both. And he might even care for them both. And he's in hangman mode trying to figure out which one maybe he wants to marry or settle down with. Or he just could be already in a relationship with somebody and he's feeling like he's stuck there in the hangman mode. Like he can't move. He can't do anything. So let's find out what is this justice card doing here. Why is this justice card here for his side? Oh, you know what? Let me do one quick shuffle because I don't think I did that. Let's do one quickie. All right. <clears throat> so he's dealing with lovers. This is the lovers. So it doesn't mean the lover right? Like he has a lover. He's got several lovers here. There's more than one, right? And this is what I'm feeling. This is the energy that I'm feeling here. He's, he's got more than one lover trying to make a decision where to go. He doesn't know which one to choose. But you know what? If he's been a deceiver the whole time, guaranteed, he doesn't have a choice because wherever he's going to, they're going to remember the deception and let him go, possibly, right? So if he does choose one, he needs to come back and prove himself and put in the work to show, I'm sorry, I want to start new. But depending on his healing process, he might not even be in that mindset. He might even just be like, eh, I'm just going to hang out here. I'm going to do whatever. I'm still going to be selfish, one-sided relationships. Um, maybe he's in a relationship or in a marriage that, you know, it might be coming down on him and he's just going with it. He's, he's not making any moves. These things are just basically just going to happen, like going with the flow with having your bad karma kind of thing. Why is this justice card here for his side? Eight of cups. So somebody is definitely walking away from a situation that was unfair. There was no justice here. Or maybe somebody is moving towards a situation that there is justice, right? Walking towards it, right? Because they don't want to be in a situation that they're at anymore. And there she is, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So he might be walking away from a Cancer. As mentioned before, possibly moving towards a Libra. Three of Pentacles. So he's walking away from a Cancer and wanting to work on it with somebody that he has one more fight left in him to work on it with. It might be this Libra, this Justice. He might be getting Justice there, but... Right? This is justice too. Look at how he left her. I don't know if he's going to get justice because of what he's done here. 
Why is this Six of Pentacles here, please? Why is this Six of Pentacles here? Yeah, he's struggling to make sense of things. He's struggling to figure things out. You know, and, and if, he, if he's been deceiving, what struggle is there, really? Right? He deceived. Of course everything's going to come crashing down, especially when he deceives people. Do you think spirit's going to allow him to move forward and be happy and joyful after deceiving a lot of people? No, 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 no. He wants wish fulfillment, though. He wants wish fulfillment somewhere. He wants equal give and take, all right? He could even be a very giving person, but he does want wish fulfillment. And remember, wish fulfillment is also about addiction, just having fun times, not being responsible. It's not the Ten of Cups. It's the Nine of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. So there is going to be a message coming in, right? This is about repetition, swift movement to create stability. Passionately. I can't even make this up, you guys. <laughs> He's going towards the Libra. See, like I told you, it didn't matter to have fire and water in your chart because we're dealing with air here. We're dealing with earth here. To be quite honest with you, check your sun, moon, rising, Venus, and your north node, right? I bet you're going to find that you have every element in your chart. If you are here watching this and you believe that you are in a soulmate twin flame relationship, almost positive, almost guaranteed, kind of, I don't know, sort of, kind of, sort of. I mean, I could be wrong, but I bet you you got every sign in your chart, every element. Anyways, <laughs> so definitely... Wanting to move away from this tower moment and this deception. Wants equal give and take. Wish fulfillment. Passionate messages towards this Libra. He wants to move forward with the Libra. And how crazy how this king and this queen are looking at each other. This king of cups and this queen of swords. So somebody definitely wants to move away and move towards, excuse me, a Libra. Right? Because we have the Justice card here. We have the Queen of uh, Swords here. Right? Why is this Hierophant here? Why is this Hierophant here for his side, please? Why is the Hierophant here? So first of all, yes. The Lovers again. Six of Cups is a lover's. It's also about reminiscing about somebody from the past. Okay? So he's thinking about somebody from the past. So he could be currently going through the Tower moment and all this deception with a Cancer and wanting to move towards a Libra where he can become balanced, have equal give and take, a happy marriage and happy life, happy family, happy union because he loves her. He loves this person. Whoever this Libra is, he loves her. And he wants to start a new stable beginning with this individual. But he's just not getting along right now because, look, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse now. If you are a female watching this, guaranteed that you are single, and stable, right? Stable as in you could be financially stable or you can be grounded and stable, right? Balanced, a very balanced person. That's how Libra is, right? But we have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a single lady. And the reason why I say if you're a single lady watching this, Queen of Pentacles, you are her. Okay? I think the tower represents Scorpio and Aries, doesn't it? Something like that. I can't remember offhand, but 
Yeah. So we got that Queen of Pentacles here. We got the the uh, the single lady Nine of Pentacles here, but he's not getting along with her at all. She's in the reverse right here. She's not thinking about marriage with him right now. Mm -mm. Because she's look what he did. Of course not. <laughs> so somehow, in the near future, or the future, whatever, he's going to have to catch up with her before she takes off, before she moves along, because she's not going to stay mourning or crying over a situation forever. It's already showing right here that she's getting over it. Whatever he has done in the past, she's getting over it. No longer being in that sorrowful state. Mm -mm. She's getting over it. And that's what usually happens. You leave somebody alone for so long, they get over it and they move on. They sure do. But look at this. He's not waiting anymore for something. right? Or he's waiting for something to happen. Sorry. He is waiting for something to happen in, in regards to his lover. What that is, I don't know. Okay, he could be dealing with the cancer right now and trying to wait until this deception and all this stuff is over so he can move towards his Libra, right? Mm -hmm. So he's basically waiting, still in hangman mode, trying to figure out how he's going to move forward in this. He might be actually going to uh, seek some sort of help, some spiritual help, you know, um, asking those of higher knowledge of how to get through this, right? I'm not going to touch the camera, you guys, okay? But are you guys feeling like off balance because the screen is like that? Okay, my bad. Never mind. I, I'm feeling OCD, but I'm not going to touch it because I know if I touch it, I'll probably make it worse. So we're just going to leave it like that. Not too much more to go anyways, you guys. We kind of see what's going on here, right? We definitely see that he is going through the tower moment. And she is standing in her Queen of Pentacles energy, probably making money, working on herself, you know, um, new projects, new things going on, happy with her life, trying to get over whatever he did, right? Because it might, it, you know, obviously it wasn't very nice. Deception, right? Juggling. And, you know, I'll tell you what. If just in case, you know, you're the masculine watching this or a fee unknowing female feminine watch, I just want to explain something. A lot of people like polygamy, right? Because they like to have choices to be with whoever, whatever. But let me tell you something. Polygamy is causes a lot of turmoil and heartache. And I'll tell you, and I'll give you the exact reasons why, because I'm feeling like I need to explain this to people because they don't understand. All right? And it's so simple. First of all, when you sleep around, you're at risk of death through STDs, you know, diseases, whatever, can be passed. Not only do you risk the, your own life, but you risk the lives of the people around you because you can pass these diseases or viruses or whatever to anyone that you're in close communication or contact with, not even communication, contact, right? That's one reason why it's good to have one partner, right? Because of the spread of disease. Second reason, Pregnancy. So you get this person pregnant. You get that person pregnant. She gets pregnant from this guy. She gets pregnant from that guy. Whatever. How do you know? You're going to have to go through paternity tests, all kinds of stuff. How do you think the child is going to feel about all this? How do you think the child's life is going to be through all this? This type of situation causes so much trauma to children to see their parents going through cheating, fighting, 
arguing? Do you, do you think that's what you want your children to learn? And the third reason why polygamy is not good is because somebody always gets hurt. No matter if it's a child born from it, if it's a spouse or a partner, you're risking your health and your happiness by doing polygamy activity. There's always going to be jealousy, sadness, and turmoil. Okay, so I'm going to stop there with that because obviously there's people here that don't understand that cheating or being in polygamist an environment is not very good, not very healthy, not very smart, and it's not good for the future of our children, putting them through this trauma, okay? It's just, it's very sad. I'm going to go ahead, but, you know, to each his own. I just told you things that can happen. If you want to deal with catching diseases, getting random people pregnant, uh, traumatizing your children. If you like that, well, then go ahead. But think first. Do you think that's the right thing to do? Do those any of those things sound good? I don't think so. Anyhow, let me get three cards for her side of the story so we can finish this up because we already basically know what's going on. Okay, and there she is again. Look, Nine of Pentacles. This is Spirit confirming that he is wants he wants to move towards this Nine of Pentacles lady, which is her. There she is. Look, right under the Emperor, but she's not she's not with it for him right now. She's not happy with him. He wants to move towards a single lady, but she's like, what? Not after all this you put me through. Because she doesn't like polygamy. She doesn't like random pregnancies all, the, all over the place. And she doesn't like viruses or diseases or STDs. She actually um, cares for herself. She actually loves herself. She's got boundaries for herself. She's got rules for herself to not get involved with people like that who like to sleep around, who like to go outside their marriage, who can't make informed decisions, who are just, you know, not very keen on what they're doing, people who don't think. Because she, especially if she has Libra in her chart, is a very intelligent woman. Let me get two more cards, please. Not that any other sign isn't intelligent, but this one in particular, whoever this is resonating with, yes, you are a very intelligent woman. And you know that, and I think he's starting to get to know that. <clears throat> what is the next card? Nine of Pentacles. How is this possible? Oh, I'm sorry, it's not. It's the Four of Pentacles, right? It appears, though, right here, that he is definitely hanging on to this, right? But look who's hanging out in the background. Some wretched, ratchet. <laughs> He's hanging on to the memory, but there's also this little ratchet woman right here hanging on to him. But look who he's looking at. <laughs> he's looking at the Nine of Pentacles lady in the reverse. She's all trying to wave her hands like she is the bomb diggity, but no, she is not because he's looking at her. And he's looking down at this situation like, what am I doing? That's what I'm feeling here. And she's looking down at him like, you mofo. <laughs> I don't know. That's You know what? These thoughts come to my head, and I'm just going to say it. Because apparently they're there for a reason, right? I didn't come into the reading thinking this, okay? It's popping out as the cards are popping out, right? She doesn't want to be deceived by this person who is sleeping around, getting people pregnant. Um, STDs, whatever. No, 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 no. She's not dealing with that anymore. 
but it appears that there's going to be some sort of message that comes in in regards to stability to her, okay, after this juggling. But I don't feel stability here at all, especially when he's got this lady, these other ladies hanging on to him. Let me see. He may not even be trying, he, he doesn't even look like he's trying to hang on to her. This is crazy, and I'll tell you why. There's somebody else in the picture here. You guys, look. Look at how he's holding the coins, right? Look at how her arm is, is in his arm and her head's above her head. There's another hand on his shoulder. Where Whose hand is that? There is somebody else that is controlling him besides the lovers. I wouldn't have never noticed something like that, but it just like popped out at me right now. So there's another person here involved in his decision making. Now this could be a family member or a friend. And that person is hidden behind the scenes and that person is also a deceiver and she's deceiving or he's deceiving him. Somebody else is behind the scenes causing more deception. He looks, look at his face. He looks scared. He looks shocked. He's not happy at all. Do you see that? He's not happy. Even he's looking over his shoulder at maybe at that hand even. Like you better make the right choice or that person who belongs to that hand is going to come and bring the smack down. I don't know. Oh, now he's crying. He's crying possibly over the loss of the single lady. Now we got two people. Well, she's getting over it. But we got two people who are crying over each other. But somebody's not making the right choice. And because he's not making the right choice, she's going to move on. Right? And he might even move forward with this, whoever this is, this ratchet. And that extra hand in the background, whoever's hiding, possibly telling him little things in his ear to make him believe that he's, you know, whatever. I don't know. I'm just happy. Oh, my God, guys. Right now I'm having uh, deja vu right now. Like, I've explained this before or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> let's see what's at the bottom. Okay. We got the Nine of Swords. So, again, she's trying to make sense of this whole situation, keeping her up late at night. Thank goodness that not me because I'll be getting some good night sleeps now. <laughs> but somebody out there is having some bad night sleeps. Maybe this is him because, you know, she doesn't seem to be, uh, I mean, she she's having these, she can't sleep at night. But I don't think it's her because we also had that card, the five of cups in the reverse. So she's also over the sorrow and sadness. All right, so let's find out why this Nine of uh, Pentacles lady, why is she in the reverse? Why is the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse? Oops. Where did I go? Uh, sorry, I had to pick something up off the ground. Okay, so four cards came out. We're going to check them out. We're going to check out all of them, okay? First of all, we have the Ace of Swords. Somebody's going to be bringing some truth into her. She's going to be getting some truth about something, right? About wish fulfillment, right? There's going to be some wish fulfillment situation, but it's, it involves, it still involves, you know, addictions and stuff. There's, and, and there's, but okay, there's not going to be passion when this conversation comes in, okay? This is going to be, I feel like, a serious conversation between him and her. Okay, so this is going to happen. And there's not going to be passion. Why? Because there's still a third party situation here. There's still heartbreak involved in this. All right. So I don't know. I mean, it doesn't mean that, that this person could be in a three party situation with Ratchet and whoever's in the background. He could get rid of Ratchet for all we know. 
But there is three-party situation. He might come and say something about a three-party situation. Why is this uh, four of pentacles here with uh, him and Ratchet? <laughs> I don't know why I have that in my head now, but... <clears throat> Well, basically, there's uh, the four pentacles there. He wants, he's holding on. He he could be actually holding on to his money, right? Because this person's got him so close, but he's like, no, my money. Okay? This woman, this ratchet could even be taller than him, okay? <laughs> she could be a taller woman. <clears throat> and the one, the one who's got his hand on the shoulder, she could be a short one. Okay? However that resonates. It could resonate with one or two out there, I don't know. Um, we also have this Four of Cups here. Um, somebody is not going to accept an offer. So there might be somebody holding on to something, but they're not holding on to an offer um, anymore that was given to them. Okay, So she might be refusing an offer of equal give and take that he brings in. Why? Well, look, he's got Ratchet hanging out with him. Why would she want to deal with anybody who's, you know, hanging out with all kinds of, you know, chicks like that <laughs> with her boob hanging out, you know, no respect for herself at all. You know, that's what I'm feeling. Hanging out with women who just don't respect themselves and maybe he doesn't respect himself enough to do that either. So nine of swords got, you know, maybe she, maybe when they come back and they speak, He's going to bring her all up in her head all over again. He might say, I'm involved with someone else. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to tell you the truth. Um, and he's, he could be involved with somebody who is um, wish fulfillment style, you know, a druggie. Somebody who is there for the money, for the drugs, just for the fun. But not actually for the stability, happy family, happy home. Right, because the Nine of Pentacles is not the Ten of Pentacles. That's what we ultimately want. I don't see the Ten of Pentacles here anywhere. <clears throat> she needs one more Pentacle in order to get that Ten of Pentacles. All right, um, that's what she needs. So, well, what else do we have? Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? Maybe he's coming to bring her in that one pentacle to complete the Ten of Pentacles energy. I don't know. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here? <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, why is it here? These two came out first. He's going to want to come in. Somebody's going to want to come in, whoever this is. Going to want to come in, make an offer to work things out. Two of Swords, or Two of Wands. This is about um, heated debates or conversations. This is about what they see in their future. They want to talk to you about what they see in their future uh, for her side and to work things out. Somebody's coming towards her. Now, this could be him or this could be someone else. But as you see, there's, there's only one person here, right? We got the Queen of Pentacles and we got the uh, Emperor. <clears throat> so, and I don't see any other kings or anything around here. What else do we have? Okay, so also going to come in passionately. Maybe offer, you know, the wand. But if he's juggling, she's not going to take the wand because she's like, I don't know who you've been with. I don't want to be with you. You've probably been, you know, juggling all over the place. Polygamy city. No thanks. I don't want to do it with you anymore. I don't want to have you anymore. You want to do that? Go to the clinic and bring me back the results. <laughs> hey, you know what? Hey, I've done it before, you guys. There's nothing wrong with it. It just means that you respect yourself and your body more than you just want to put out like that. All right? And, I mean, yes, you can use condoms and all that stuff, but nope. I need to take it one step further. <laughs> you better go to the clinic if you want to get with me. Because I'm not trying to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? Lies. Five of Swords. Five of Swords. Lies. To me, the Five of Swords is always like the liar card, right? Somebody, this is disappointment. 
Okay, this is uh, a difficult opponent, right? So she may be in this energy. She's disappointed, and she's going to be difficult to this guy, right? Because she doesn't want to deal with juggling, ratchets, right? Deception, lies. She doesn't want that. And that's all that he brings to the table, right? How can you have passion with somebody anyways when they've done all this to you and you feel this way about them? I'm, I'm guaranteed the sex ain't going to be good. It's going to suck because of all these things floating in their head and how disgusting and bad this person was to another individual, whatever, right? Whatever, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and get these up. Right, we're going to get these up. And I do have some Oracle cards. You know, see what the little oracles say, these little things. I'm just using them because, you know, what the heck, oracles. Hey, oracles. I actually like the readers who use tarot because oracles are just, I don't know. <laughs> I think if a person knows how to read the tarot and they read the tarot to you, that's, you know, somebody who's bringing you spirit's truth, right? That's how I feel about it. That's me. I'm going to, I have, so I have this oracle. This is the angel love or whatever. What is this called? Um, <laughs> um, gosh, I can't remember you guys. I can't think of it for the life of me. I don't see the box right here either. Um, oh, romance angels. <laughs> okay, you guys, romance angels. Let's see what flies out for his side first. And let's see what the universe has to say about this situation between him and her because obviously he's dealing with two people and she's just dealing with one and it's the one that broke her heart who is possibly him right um yeah let me see anything else for his side anything else anything for his side okay that's good enough i guess let me go ahead and see what she's got now these romance Romance angels. Any for her, any for her. Well, hers are just flying out real nicely. Anything else? Wow. Okay, but that was it. So she got a little bit more than he did. All right. All right, so we got these. I'm going to put these here, okay, because I also have the healing energy oracles. All right, let's find out and see what pops out for him. All right. What kind of healing energy does he have? This is for his side. Anything? Ooh. Ooh. Anything else? Anything else? Okay. Anything for her side now? For her side. Anything else? Wow. There was another one that flipped over here. here it is. Well, she's got more messages than he does. But let's see what happens here, okay? Let's start with him. First, what he has here, chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here, okay? But with which one? With the Libra or the Cancer, right? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So he needs to release something of the past. He could have a lot of childhood trauma, to be quite honest with you guys. Um, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So he does have a passion for this situation, right? He is very passionate about somebody. But who? <laughs> who knows? Because uh, he's dealing with two people here, right? Or more than two, because remember, we got that extra hand. We got Ratchet right there. Who knows? Who knows who he's dealing with, right? You might know if it's your story. 
trust this situation is calling for you to have faith. So he needs to start having a little faith in himself, okay? So maybe whoever he was with in the past has really brought him down, has caused him to be very untrusting to others, right? So this is possible that he does not have trust in the situation that he's in right now. Um, what do we have here? New beginnings happen every day. It's time to him to make a change. He needs to make that choice and go to wherever he needs to go. Because being in the hangman mode is not going to take him anywhere. Okay? Giving up is a form of failure. So he needs to not give up on a situation. So if he's been with her or been dealing with somebody uh, that he thinks it's over, Spirit is saying, uh, don't give up because giving up is a form of failure. We're not supposed to fail here, okay? We're not supposed to be failures. We're supposed to be winners, all right? Nobody is born saying, I want to be a failure. No, we're all born saying, I want to be a winner or thinking that or we should be told that in, in our lives, but not very many of us are. Okay, some of us have had some trauma childhoods, right? Anyways, fall in love every day, even if it's only with yourself. So the Spirit is also saying for him, you got to have more self-love, okay? Because your self-love is just not, you know, it's just not good right now. And if you want to move forward and have a good loving relationship, mister, you're going to need to, um, you know, have more self-love. Being a polygamist and sleeping around is not self-love. That's actually um, self-abuse because... Um, you, oh, I just saw one eleven eleven. I have never seen that. I just saw that. We got ones across the board, you guys. Okay. Okay. What was I saying? Um, yeah, being a person who sleeps around, that just shows that you don't love yourself because you risk your own life and you risk others. All right. And that's not good. Not good at all. Okay. Let's find out what's on her side now. Okay, we have let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Understandable, okay? So maybe she has some control issues and she needs to let go of those, okay? Um, and, but I do see here that she's definitely going to be working on herself, okay? Because she's trying to let this go, all right? Um, soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Well, you know, of course. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay, well, maybe she does want to work on a partnership, okay? But she wants to work on a partnership that's going to be good and honest, that respects her own boundaries, because she's going to respect theirs, so they need to respect hers, right? Right. Next we have release your ex. Okay, so it once she releases this person, definitely... Uh, this person who she's dealing with, who's deceived to her, who's walking around with a ratchet lady over there. Yeah, she needs to release that person, okay? She might have in the past, or she might be trying to go through that right now. Okay, she's trying to possibly go through this releasing of the ex right now. Because um, remember, we saw that five of cups uh, in the reverse, which means that she doesn't want to be sad or mourning over the loss of the situation anymore. She's done, right? What else do we have? <clears throat> Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So it looks like somebody might actually be coming into her life after she releases the ex, right? And she's going to be able to uh, have something new and something nice come in. And this person could be a soulmate, but it, we have a lot of soulmates. So it doesn't mean it's the soulmate. It's just a soulmate learning lesson type of soulmate. Right. And it could be twin flame learning soulmate. You don't have to be with the twin flame. You don't always have to get with that person. But just know if you don't, you're going to have to go through another lifetime going through some sort of trauma and, and lessons again. Right. Something that I wish I wouldn't have to do. But like you guys, I'm going through the soulmate twin flame thing, too. And I'm trying to let go because... Uh, you know, I have a feeling that there might be some codependency there, right? Codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, yeah, she she doesn't want to deal with any more codependency either. She wants a good, independent person, somebody who isn't codependent like that. You know, it's not necessary, okay? Let's find out... <clears throat> 
Stop and smell the guardianess. Try something new without getting pricked, okay? So Spirit is telling her now, let go of this guy. Let go of whoever he is because he's not serving her good in any way. <clears throat> it's time to stop and smell the guardianess. Try something new. Go out on some dates. Meet some new people. Have a good time. Have a few drinks. Just get out, you know? Allow yourself to be open to being loved. See, once she can let him go, she'll be able to allow herself to op be open to being loved. And that's exactly what she wants. <clears throat> she wants love. She doesn't want this. She wants love. Um, know that everyone suffers, not just you. Express compassion, okay? So somebody might come into her life or he might come back and, you know, speak about the suffering and the sadness. And she, because being a Libra, remember, we had that Libra there. Being a Libra, she's going to allow him to come in and speak his truth. Doesn't mean she's going to take him back, right? Doesn't, because, you know, once a Libra cuts you off, I mean, I know. Once a Libra cuts you off, you're off, right? There might be a lot of heartfelt feelings there and sadness, but they know what's best for them and they move towards what's better for them. Okay, and if this person is causing a lot of turmoil and sadness in her life, she's going to get rid of it. Okay, she doesn't want to be in an unloving relationship. <clears throat> doubts create mountains. So this person may have caused her to have create doubts in her life. Maybe that she's not good enough. Okay, well, I'm telling you right now, uh, for her side, you are good enough. You just had some fool that made that broke you down that. You know, you just need to get over, okay? And, and and think about it real quick. I know we're over now. Think about the guys, you know, feminine. Think about the guys who have approached you. Some, some fairly nice guys, I'm sure. Established men, even single men. Men who have jobs and cars, even their own places, right? And then think about this person. What did that person have or ever offer you? Think about it. And it doesn't mean that like, oh, this person has to have a lot of money. But but the guys who have come to you, I bet you they've offered you love. They probably haven't even asked you for stuff like this person has. This person probably asks you what these people who you have come in contact with probably say, what would you like? And this person's like, what can I get? So think about that, right? Seek silence from electronics. The natural world has music of its own. Very good. So you might want to go out into nature a little bit because if you are depleted of energy, especially in this situation, you can find or you can seek uh, solitude and happiness and energy from the nature. You know, nature is good. I get out every single day. It's working in my garage most of the time, but, you know, I'm still out there. I got a nice backyard, whatever. You know, I'm with nature. I try to give peanuts to the squirrels. <laughs> Anyways, trying to get out in the nature, even if, it's, if it is in your own backyard, you know. Um, just do what you can to find happiness with yourself, you know. Once you can find happiness from yourself and heal from this baggage, this person who brought all this baggage in your life, this, you know, three of swords energy is keeping you up at night. Once you can release that, oh my gosh, your life is going to get so much better. It takes time, you know, to heal. And I know that it takes a lot of time. For some, it takes more than others, you know, but it's going to happen and you're going to be okay, you know. Um, I don't know what he's going to do, but when it comes to the feminines, you're going to be okay if you can let all this go. Um, this person is indecisive. They give up too easily. They don't fight for what they want, you know. They realize they can have new beginnings. They don't follow through, okay. This person doesn't love themselves. They don't respect their body. They don't respect themselves. They don't respect women. Right? Too much passion. This person is also untrusting. This person's got chemistry with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's all I have for you guys today for the he, she reading. Sorry it's all crooked and you might feel like you're sitting at a tilt. I'll try to fix that next time I have the feeling to do one of these. But, um, yeah, think about what's going on, you know, because, uh, 
You don't want to be in sadness and turmoil anymore. You don't. I know you don't. Because I don't. I was feeling that definitely. And I don't think that you want to feel that because it's a terrible feeling. Best thing for you guys to do, feminines, is to work on yourself. Take care of yourself. Have respect for yourself, your body, your life, right? And I don't want to be mean to him about whatever you're going through. You need, you have a lot of lessons to learn, mister. You need to learn about um, respect for others. Respect yourself, love for yourself. You got to think about equal give and take. You got to think about communication. No communication, no relationship. I'm just being straight up, right? You know, mister, I'm telling you, you're not going to be young forever. And if you think you are, you're going to find somebody to take care of you forever. <gasps> Fat chance. Watch where the future leads you if you keep up this toxic energy, this toxic activity that you're doing. Because you're just going to miss out on opportunities one after the other, after the other, after the other, until you're just at rock bottom and it's going to be too late for you. She understands this. This is why she moves on. Okay, you guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Sorry it was so long, but, you know, I mean, that's what I needed to explain all this to you. Okay. Remember to keep it true love energy, though, you guys. Okay, let's keep that true love energy going so we can draw in true love energy to our own lives. Okay, happy, friendly, and loving times. We have nothing to fear. Why? Because we're calm and we're cheerful and we don't deal with any more toxic energy, right? We try not to, right? <laughs> okay, you guys. My name is Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This was a reading for the weekend of the 20th and the 21st of June 2020. And I will talk to you guys next time. All right, bye.